Could it really be? The Enchanted Island? Oh, gosh, I've heard so much about this in my fairy tale stories that Mother used to tell me. There, so, the legend has it that there is a box on there that could fulfill you with riches. I gotta get to it. She'd be so proud of me. Alright, good thing I brought these oak leaves with me. Perfect for building right up. Good thing, can I have a celebratory cookie? Nope. Guess I'm too full to have cookies. I've already had a stack full. But it looks like, ah, oh, here we go. The Pandora's box. I've waited all my life to find one of these. Oh, goodness. I think I just... Right click. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Okay, give me, give me diamonds. Give me gold. What's happening? It's not night time. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Well, there was. Hey, look, a cookie. Oh, I guess it was worth it. Franklin's back and it looks like he stole Pat. Well, alrighty then, I was kind of looking forward to him being in this video. I'm sure there's some sort of explanation for this because Franklin normally tells me when he's gonna leave because he's, you know, he's a responsible little spider. Pat, he's still, you know, training him. Um, he's, in, he's a bat in training. I'm still trying to teach him not to fly away. Looks like today they left us with the Pandor- with the Pandora's box mod. And it looks like this is a Pandora's box. It looks like there's no chest or anything. It's just click this bad boy um I'm not entirely sure if you wanted me to do that oh gosh is this oh look it's a farm we're just getting right into it today normally there's a question of the day and I have to answer it and looks like now oh is that zombie oh jeez what the heck does this what 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 the huh huh what just happened chicken what did you do um I was slain by Notch's lost soldier of teasing grammar Nazis. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, so I made it back. For some reason, there's a horse on my house. There is a farm everywhere. There are just giant pillars of wool and different materials. And I am not going back in there, guys. That, that, was, that was crazy. There was soldiers in there. There was Notch's soldiers trying to kill me. And uh, we're just gonna go out here and check to see if anything's in, in this little shack that I made. Uh, it doesn't look like it was harmed. Yeah, it looks all intact except this <laughs> this little uh, piece of wood got replaced by uh, I think it's like a pumpkin or a watermelon seed. So yeah, let's uh, let's check in this chest. Okay, good. We got some books. And it's question of the day. And we also have P right back. I'm sure this is somewhat of an explanation. Let's check it out. Sorry it was so short notice, but Pat and I went to get a bite to eat. We'll be back soon, so don't start the video without us. Uh, about that, Franklin. Uh, kinda already started. This is gonna be an awkward conversation later. Uh, love Franklin. P.S. I have Pat in his cage, so don't worry. Okay, well, kinda still worrying a little bit, cause frankly, you're not the re most responsible little spider, but I guess, uh, I'll just have to trust you on this one. And also, we have Franklin's question of the day, so make sure to go answer this in the comment section down below. And also, guys, make sure to go pound the like button. We started this video out with a bang. That was kind of exciting. But yeah, make sure to go pound the like button. Let's see if we can get over maybe 200 likes for this video. But let's check out this question of the day. What would you do with $1 million? That's what Backstrike wants to know. And honestly, I've thought about this a lot. I mean, I know it's probably never going to happen, but I was thinking that I would probably save most of it, like three quarters of it, because that's $750,000 right there that I could save and like maybe put away in the bank. And uh, maybe I would invest some of it into like stocks or I would probably talk to my parents about it because I really don't know what to do with money just yet. I'm only 16 years old, guys. So yeah, I don't really don't know exactly what I would do with it, but I think I would probably save most of it and... Uh, Definitely have a little shopping spree, maybe a good vacation here and there. Uh, I don't know, I probably wouldn't be able to quit school, but I would definitely probably invest some of it too. And uh, yeah, that's probably what I would do with it. If you had a million dollars, what would you guys do? I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, would be like the same as me. You wouldn't really know what to do with it because a million dollars, that's just a lot of money. I mean, I'm pretty excited when I get, you know, $50 for my birthday and I get like a new video game. But a million dollars, that's quite crazy. But anyway, let's move on. Uh, there was some Pandora's boxes in here, but uh, I also have some right on this little tab. Plus some armor and some weapons just in case uh, we run into some trouble down the road. So I have 15 Pandora's boxes that we're going to try out. 
And if you are a long time viewer, you are definitely gonna remember that. I reviewed this before, but uh, from the intro, you probably realize that this is a totally brand new mod. They have like a uh, little 3D animations now. So we're gonna try and get away from the mod showcase house and let's just place them down. So with this, you can actually place it down in I believe 16 different orientations. So it's kind of like placing a, a player head. I'm pretty sure that's how they did it. So if I were to place it like this, obviously, as you can see, it's not like a full block. It's just like this little box, as you can see, and it will rotate around if I were to place like another one over here it would uh, orient me like on how I'm facing so once you do place it down all you have to do is right click it but first let me show you the crafting recipe it is actually quite simple it's just two wood planks four redstone and ender pearl and two gold ingots so it does bring some use to gold and uh, redstone which is kind of neat so anyway now we just have to right click it and see what happens I'm actually quite scared some of these things are quite crazy I believe I got oh gosh Wow, I got mining fatigue and hunger. Just what I wanted for my birthday. I think I can just go like this. Nope, I can't. I need a glass of milk. Okay, we're just going to keep going on and try not to let that affect us. All right. I really do love the new 3D animation of this. It's just so neat. Like, it just puffs into smoke and it lets out different symbols and stuff like an enchanting table. It's kind of neat. So here we have magma cream with a pane of arthropods 3 and a potato with silk touch 1. I think... I'll take my chances with the potato over the magma cream. All right, let's try another one. We haven't got any of the crazy ones yet. If you, any of you remember from my previous uh, video on this, uh, some of the different Pandora's boxes I got were quite crazy. So let's see, is anything happening with this one? We got a lot of particle effects happening. Am I getting effects? Oh, did the ground change? I'm so confused what's going on. Sometimes they do glitch out, and I believe that they don't actually spawn in anything, so I believe that might be what's happening with this one. That one did absolutely nothing. Okay, we're going to walk down here, and we're going to try and spawn another one. Hopefully, we get a good one. We haven't gotten a good one yet. I'm going to eat my trusty potato here. Oh, uh, are we getting some nice armor? I think we probably are. Let's see. We got some boots. Oh, what's this? A second round? What, what am I getting? Cactus green. I'm getting some bread, and it spawned in some mini trees. Okay, so that was like three different whole rounds of stuff. That's kind of neat. Let's see. We got protection one. I'm breaking one. Uh, the secret XXA happy face of ultimate evil. Okay, and your block. Interesting. Oh my goodness. It's just spawning in like a jungle of these things. Jeez, it's just like an instant jungle right here. But it's kind of weird because they're all spawning in on this little dirt block. So it's like not natural looking. Well, that's a little strange. Okay, let's just get this stuff out of here. Uh, guess I'll just kind of heal myself. I just want to get rid of the stupid hunger. It's so annoying. And I also did get fire resistance somewhere in there. All right, I guess we can try and get out of this little mess and we can tr spawn in a another Pandora's box. So that one was pretty good. That was probably the best one yet, but some of them are quite crazy. Let's go over here and let's spawn in Pandora's box. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, steak party. This is like a buffet. Oh wait, TNT, TNT, it tricked me. Oh gosh. Oh, good thing I have on this trusty armor. And also spawned in a diamond helmet. But yeah, got some steak. Awesome. Is there anything else we got? Yeah, it looks like just a bunch of steak, fish, cocoa beans. I'm not sure if I already had the cocoa beans. But yeah, we got a whole bunch of good stuff. And then it just tried to explode me with TNT. It was trying to like pull me in and then kill me. All right. Another Pandora's box. I'm getting ready for this one. Come on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get me out of here. Eh, what's going on? It's chasing me. It's chasing me. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, God. It got me. Get me out of here. <laughs> Can I get on top of it? Uh-oh. It's, like it's like a water trap. Jeez. Ouch. Is it, is it done? Holy crap. That thing was literally trying to kill me. It was like a mob trying to kill me. That was crazy. Oh, my goodness. Look how far that went. It went so far just to try and trap me in one of these uh, little traps right here with the... Uh, trying to drown me, I'm pretty sure. It would probably been pretty easy to get out of, though. But, yeah, that, that, that was cool. That was honestly cool. I've never seen anything like that before where it actually follows me. And it looks like, while I wasn't looking, there was another round and spawned in an efficiency pickaxe and a golden axe with efficiency, with efficiency too. All right. Kind of neat, kind of neat. Uh, let's go over here and then let's get some more Pandora's boxes in our inventory. Let's see. We're actually running through them quite quick. I might spawn in a few more if I don't get any good ones. But uh, yeah, let's just keep on trying. Here we go. Pandora's box. I really want to get rid of this hunger effect. Oh, what's this? This looks awesome with the lapis and it blends in with the water. Wait, what's going on? Why is it? What is happening? It like spawned in the water and then it started taking it away. Is this just going to all disappear? Was this just still water? It's actually kind of neat. Is this going to leave a giant crater? Because all I see below me is just a giant crater. Chicken. Uh-oh. 
I'm getting uh, nausea. Are you joking? Look at that time just going up. Oh, holy crap. Five minutes. Look at that. Five minutes. Oh, gosh, guys. I am really drunk right now. Oh, I feel a little, a little tipsy. A little tipsy. All right. I need to get a glass of milk now. This has to end. Bam. Jeez. Imagine getting that in survival mode and not being able to do anything about it. Oh, my gosh. I would probably have to just end my life right there. Okay, so we got some laps with this one, and it looks like a giant crater filled with water. That's This one's kind of neat. We're just going to spawn the next Pandora's box right on top of here. Hopefully, it's something deliciously good. Is there any food? Oh, that looks sink. Oh, no. I'll get it. Is it lost? Here it is. It's right there. It looks so good. It looked all enchanted. Let's see. Block of secret organizations. I need to look at the effects real quick. Let's see. Hopefully, creepers haven't been spawned up here. Come on. Let me up. Let me up. Here we go. So, it looks like this is all I pretty much got from it. Random anvil over there. And, uh, did this all turn into a desert while I wasn't looking? It did, didn't it? Gosh dang it, Pandora's box. Looks like we got power four on breaking three. That's actually a pretty good bow. All right. So we got a brand new desert land with some weirdly spawning in cactuses. Or cacti, I should say. If I want to be grammatically correct. For all you grammar Nazis out there. For the grammar Nazi that killed me in the beginning. There you go. Let's see. Oh, what was that? Oh, yeah, falling cows. Screw you, cows. Oh, some of them landed in the water. That's kind of disappointing. Look at them. They're definitely going to drown out. They, there's no way they're getting back up here. It looks like we've got a random pig in there, too. All right, Pandora's box. Definitely, please, just kill all the cows and the pigs. I don't like it. Oh, is this like an end dimension? This is the end? Whoa. It, is it replacing the water? What's going on down there? This is crazy. The water's just getting messed with. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it turned into the desert into oh gosh enderman crap crap it's on me it's actually on me it's already aggravated so it looked like it just turned yeah this little area into the end dimension that's kind of neat i kind of want to get to a new area though so let's see can i make this jump i want to kill this guy too i can't hit him with arrows can i dang it all right we're gonna take him out here we go yeah that's right come here come here we just gotta take this guy out real quick if he doesn't want to fight us because he's a wuss we could just go over here and we could spawn another one yeah he's oh gosh i wasn't ready for that oh is he not Oh, cool. I don't think he wants to kill me anymore. Uh, there's that another one. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave him be, guys. And we are going to try out another Pandora's box. So yeah, a lot of them actually do change the terrain. What's this one? Is it an instant uh, jungle biome? That'd be kind of neat. See, yeah, it looks like we're just getting a lot of jungle trees. That one's pretty basic, honestly. All right, let's move on. How many more do we got? Looks like we have four more. So I might do a couple more, or I actually might show you guys the command uh, at the end of this video where we can actually choose what effect that we want. I think I'll probably do that after these four, because some of them are pretty dang crazy. I've never tried out all of them. I only tried out one for like a test run, and I think I got like the Halloween one, which I'll probably show you guys, because that one's pretty cool, and Halloween's literally right around the corner. All right, let's see. It looks like we're getting a farm one. This is what I thought we were getting in the beginning, and then something crazy happened. I got a whole bunch of crap. Look at this. It's just spewing out blocks. That's awesome. Holy crap, just like the 3D animation. So cool. There we go. It's spewing out some blocks here and there. We got some villagers spawning in. Anything else coming out of there? Gosh, it's, it's just like a magical box. It's crazy. It just spawns in random crap. Just spewing out blocks. All right, are you done? Right, are you done? Right, it's, it's like it's literally just throwing up blocks. That's great. All right, uh, is there anything else that's going to happen? I'm kind of like waiting to see because there's normally like three rounds. Of just random stuff that comes from this little bad boy. All right, is it, where's the villager? I kind of want to oh, see see what I'm talking about. Look at that! Look at that! Uh, I think what the heck? Oh, it just literally it turned to nighttime, and we got chests. Okay, we got glowstone, we got uh, spider eyes or fermented spider eyes, bookshelves. That's actually kind of useful. We got sand. So yeah, a whole bunch of stuff just happened. It looked like the last one would have been like Christmas or something happened because uh, it turned nighttime and then we got a whole bunch of little presents. And look, we got some snow golems, which the zombies are trying to kill. So we're just going to turn it back to daytime and get rid of those pesky little zombies. And let's just go check on this villager. I'm trying to see if they have any special trades. Doesn't look like it. What are what you, you saying to me? Huh? What? Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. Here, I'll help your little zombie problem. There you go. Be free, villager. Be free. All right, let's go over here, and let's spawn in another Pandora's box. Chicken. Oh, chicken. If there wasn't things here, I would have killed you. Oh, it's suicide bombers. Jeez. That would be great if they were actually uh, uh, zombies, 
with uh, TNT on top of their head because they would have definitely ran me down. Or even Enderman. That would have been even more crazy. Aggravated Enderman trying to kill me. Gosh, that would have been crazy. All right. It's a nice cooked pork chop. We have two more to go. Here we are. Let's do this. Let's get this over with. Oh, I was waiting for one of these ones. It's like, I, I got this one in the last video that I did on it. It's like this magical world with a... That's like made of wool and it's made of stained clay and it is just awesome. Like, look at this. I just love it so much. Like, th it, this is probably one of my favorite ones. It's like happy. All the other ones kind of tried to kill me. But this one's really nice. It has like different designs and this villager found its way over here somehow. But yeah, this one's definitely a really unique one in my opinion. Probably one of my favorites. The cows over here, they're just chilling by this little rainbow. It almost looks like a, like a candy land type thing because everything just looks so brightly colored. Kind of like candy. All right, so we have a last Pandora's box. Let's just do it kind of over on the edge here. Actually, let's go do it on this little island. Why not? And then hopefully it'll kill all these squids. What's that up there? I'm guessing that must have spawned in with a different one. All right, Pandora's box, do not let me down. Let's see. Give me something good. Oh, is this... What is this? Just, a, just random trees everywhere? I guess that's okay. At least it's just not like regular trees, you know? Let's see, is there a round two for this? Oh yes, there's a round two. It's turning it into a desert. Is, is there round round three maybe? Round three, it's actually changing the color of the water. That's, that's awesome. It's like literally just changing the biome. Oh, look, look at that skeleton over there. He's like, what the heck's going on? Oh, the trees, they actually turned into sandstone. Oh, that's cool. Let's see, is there anything else that will happen? Come on, it's like, you don't know when it's gonna actually stop. Cause right now it's still doing the, uh, the desert effect. Let's see, and it is officially done. All right, so now, oh, oh, I messed up my wonderland. Well, this is disappointing. Let's uh, go check out that command now that I was talking about. It is called slash Pandora, and then you have to do effect. So if I do effect equals, and then I can literally just scroll through every single effect. So let's see right here. I want to show you guys just a few of these that uh, look cool to me. So let's see. Uh... All right, so I found this good one, Ice Age. I'm kind of curious what's going to spawn in here. So when you do that command, it'll just kind of throw it out in front of you. Oh, this is so cool. I feel like Elsa. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. It's turning everything into ice and hardened ice. I'm kind of curious if that was going to make that uh, that ice spikes. I think that would be really awesome. Let's see. Yeah, the extent of it didn't go as far as I hoped it would. But that was still kind of neat, seeing everything turn into ice. So that one was cool. And there is one more that I want to show you guys. Uh, I have not tested it yet. I tested that ice one before. But this one I have not tested yet. Oh, wait. What's going on? Uh, the, oh, yes. The, the squids, they died. Oh, thank you. That effect. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that effect. That it would kill all the stupid squids. Okay. So now we have one more that I want to show you. It is called Snake, I believe. Is that, is that one? Or maybe it's called Double Snake. I'm not entirely sure. Let's just go see. Let's go ch double check on that effect. Is it Double Snake? Yeah, Double Snake. So let's see what happens. Something will spawn in. And it looks really cool. See, look at that. Look at that. It's starting up. It's just so cool. I'm actually going to go into creative to show you guys this. Because, like, it's like starts blocks within the vicinity. And then it starts creating this giant snake out of it. See, look at that. It just created this cool snake out of it made of just random blocks. And I just think that's really cool. And I just realized that the trees go really high. All right, we're going to try the snake one one last time. And then I will finish off this mod review. Because, I mean, this snake one looks so cool. Look at that. It spawned in sand. Like, it's just random blocks. And this one looks like... The, it's just like... It's so hard to explain. Look at that. There's like two snakes in this one. This one's going really fast. It's like skinny. This one's a little bit thicker. But it's just so cool because it spawns in a bunch of random blocks. And then it creates some... For, it uh, creates some pretty nice structures. As you can see here, like, it looks like that's a snake head and that's a snake head. And they're kind of like raveling around each other. So yeah, I just thought that one was probably one of my favorites in this. Either that or the Ice Age was probably kind of cool. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this little mod showcase. I hope you did enjoy. This was the Pandora's Box mob. Make sure to go pound the like button if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I do macho cases and let's plays and a bunch of other Minecraft related content. But yeah guys, that is really it. My name is Beckbro Jack, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!